Hello everyone. How are you all doing? Today, I thought I will share something which is very personal to me. <clears throat> and this idea came to me because in a session with a client, they told me that they feel extremely lost in their life because of a loss of a relationship. I have felt lost in my life many times. There have been multiple reasons for it. There have been times when I felt completely lost when, my lo when I lost my father at a very young age. There were other times when I wanted a career promotion and I did not get one. There were other times when I had some friction with my colleagues or my friends and I didn't find a way to let them know what I wanted to express to them or what I needed from them at that particular point in time. So I think acceptance of the fact that there will be moments in our life, there will be um, situations in our life when things will not go our way because life is something which, you know, brings all colors. It brings happiness, it brings joy, all emotions. It, uh, it, it, it is something which we get to experience in all its flavors. So what do you do when you feel lost in life? So I thought today I will discuss some things that help us overcome that feeling of loss, that helps us to move on, that uh, take us to, um, if I may say the right word would be, that helps us to look at things in a new perspective. So I have made some pointers today and from my you know experience from what i have learned uh, from the knowledge base that i have and i thought i'll share that with you so that if you're feeling lost in life they will help you to probably ease that pain they will help you to probably uh, overcome that uh, challenge that you're facing so one of the first things that i think when you feel lost in life is to really know at a very fundamental level that you are enough. Easier said than done, I guess. But to be aware and to know in life that anything that you will ever experience, you are bigger than that thing. You have the capacity and the capability. It is provided to you by the creator, by the powers that be, that you can overcome anything that you experience in life. When we become aware of that reality, that truth, because it's a given fact, then I think we become more resilient. We get that power to really face whatever life throws at us. The second thing, which is I think very important is, many times when we feel lost, a lot of us just go into our shell. We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to seek help. We don't talk, want to talk to our loved ones. We don't want to go into therapy. We don't want to reach out to a mentor and coach because we feel the pain is so overwhelming. How do I even come, begin to even share it with someone? The question is, when we reach out for support, the other person brings into the picture a certain different perspective to the whole thing. What may be the end of the road for you could be from another person's a viewpoint, a beginning of a new adventure. When we share, we share our burden. We reach a place where we can look into things in a different perspective because somebody may have a totally different take on it. When we share, we ease our pain because in sharing, we are releasing the, the, the regrets. We are releasing the, the, the frustration, the anger. And it gives us a little bit more clarity in thinking about what are the things we need to do as to move forward. So if you share your burden with a loved one, you share your loss with, uh, by going into therapy or talking to a counsellor or talking to a mentor or a coach, suddenly you realise, hmm, this problem is not as big as I made it out to be. This loss is not as great as I made it out to be. I can overcome it. I can experience moving on from this loss and probably even get a perspective on what you learned in the process. The third point which I think is very important is we are not taught at any given point of time how to take care of ourselves. 
this is something I constantly reiterate because even at my age, I am learning the nuances of self-care. I'm learning what it means to be present in the moment, what it means to understand what it takes to nurture our souls, our bodies and our minds. So practice self-care, whatever that means to you. It is going to be hit and try formula. Sometimes it could be just listening to music. Sometimes it could be just listening to uh, a friend speak. Sometimes it could be cooking your favorite meal. Sometimes it could be just silent sitting. And today, one of my mentors, she said something beautiful to me. And she said, learn to give yourself a physical hug. So I was like, okay, how does one give your, oneself a physical hug? And she said that physical hug means in one way to say no to something that you do not want to indulge in. Stop. I am not going to do this in this moment right now. That is a physical hug you give yourself by taking your care of yourself. So what are the things you can do to take better care of yourself at a physical, mental, spiritual level? Indulge in those things. Then when we do that, when we take better care of ourselves, we realize, hmm, I think I can deal with the situation a little bit better. I think I have the power and the means to look into the situation in a more uh, centered manner. Fourth point that you can do when you uh, feel overwhelmed. I think a lot of time because we live in the era and age of instant gratification, we think that we feel lost right now and in the next 10 minutes I'm going to feel better. In doing that, a lot of us just brush under the carpet our pain. What we realize it, what we don't realize, sorry, is that in not dealing with that pain, in not dealing with that loss, you have accumulated a baggage to carry on your shoulders. A baggage which over time is going to become very heavy for you. A baggage which will probably make you feel tired, restless, anxious over the period of months, days, years. So learning to be patient with yourself, learning to be kind with yourself, learning to understand that this loss that you are mourning is going to take some time to heal is a great way for letting yourself understand the loss better, letting yourself give time to yourself by giving yourself a break and then you can move forward in healing yourself or recovering from that loss. Last but not the least, I think many times, many, many times when we make create so much uh, angst, so much anxiety because of our loss that we refuse to try new things. We refuse to, um, you know, go out of our comfort zone and we love to swallow in self-pity. So if you're going through loss, I remember when uh, I lost my father many, many years ago. One of the best things that I could do at that point in time is I started volunteering my time at an old age home. What that did for me was that suddenly I was surrounded by people who were in much more pain than I was. Um, you know, there's a beautiful Hindi song, Dunya mein kitna gam hai, mera gam kitna gam hai. When I went to that old age home and it had a section of the people there who had disabilities. Uh, there were some who had been abandoned by their families. Um, there were some who missed their children so much. And in being in that environment, I felt, oh my God, I'm so lucky. I'm so fortunate. In trying to reach out and go to a place to do some kind of help or to provide some kind of service, I don't know if I made any contribution there but being in that environment, that made a huge contribution in my life to make me feel centered, to make me feel blessed and to make me understand my pain is not the only pain in the world. There is so much misery, there is so much sorrow in the world and by helping another one in need, my pain was alleviated. So if you think about it, if you think about, if you think about, uh, you know, 
loss in life which is going to be a permanent feature in most of our lives we we'll lose loved ones to death we we'll lose some of them to illness we we'll lose some friendships to misunderstandings it is an integral part of our lives but when we when we think about our lives when we think about um when we self reflect we will understand that i am bigger than that loss whatever happens to me uh, i have the power and the patience and the ability to overcome this and in doing that you will be able to master the art of going with the flow acceptance will become the major word for you that is the word which will resonate with your being and you will be more happy and more prepared to face any challenges that life may have to offer to you i really do hope that this particular content will help you to really channelize and uh, master the art of self care the art of self reflection the art of uh, you know being kind to yourself and uh, i do hope that you have the 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 inner resilience to deal with loss in your life whenever you face it and know in the heart of hearts you are bigger than any loss that you may encounter um for now that's all at my end if you like the particular content that i shared with you please do not forget to subscribe and uh, comment in the section below let me know what have been your biggest challenges in terms of experiencing loss in life and i would certainly reply to your comments and be there for you in uh, connecting with you as and when i can bye for now